Good morning, sir. I'm Dr. Tranka. Uh, could I go ahead and get your full name along with your date of birth, please? Just making sure that you're the right patient right now. My name is Rich Gilbertson. Alrighty. And, um, all right, let me just check here. All right, cool. So you are the right patient. Um, could you go ahead and tell me what you came in here for today? Well, uh, I'm green. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be green. I think I soaked up a little bit, a little too much chemicals, you know, at, uh, at the plant I work at. We create, like, we, we, we manage toxic waste, you know. And, uh, I, th I think I might have gotten a little too much of it. I got a little sunburn, you know. You know how it is. Okay, okay. And, um, are you experiencing any pain? Uh, well, uh, I wouldn't call it pain. That's, that's mm -hmm. too little of a word, uh, to describe it. Could you, um, could you tell me, uh, exactly where the pain might be? Or is there uh, any areas where it hurts more than the others? I think it's all just everywhere. My nerve system's pretty, pretty fucked up, so, uh, I don't know what I'm experiencing, but it's probably not good. Alrighty. Um, could you go ahead and tell me what time this, these, uh, these symptoms started, uh, arising? Well, it all started... About this morning, I just woke ah, up. Ah, shit. Here comes the part where the goddamn patient tells me his bull BS story. All right, go ahead. That's it. <laughs> I, I woke up like this. Are you, <laughs> you take a selfie on Instagram and post it? What the hell? What are you <laughs> I'm I'm a blue-collar worker. I don't I don't need this shit. All right? I can't All right. Do medical screening. Not, not a... Not a criticism of my life choices. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and take a couple blood draws. How's that sound? Uh, I probably won't feel it, so that's okay. Alright, cool. You just, just, just give me a second, please. Your, uh, blood results just came back in. You are positive for, um... Uh, nuclear radiation. Um, there's not much that we at this outside hospital that we can do for you. Um, I'm sorry to bring it to you, sir, but um, do you want the news up front or do you want me to ease you into it? Give it to me straight, Doc. Straight and hard. All right. Well, good news and bad news. Good news is um, you get to live for the next like three hours. Bad news is, you get to live oh, for the yeah. next three hours. Oh, shit. So, um, the only thing I can give you is a prescription for uh, thyroid medication, specifically iodine tablets. Hopefully that they somewhat oh, yeah, ease the pain. Can you go ahead and stand up for me, please? We're going to go ahead and check, do an eye exam on you, see, because I can see some, um, some damage to your uh, eyes. Could you stand up for me, please? Fuck me, what the f where the fuck? Alrighty, sir, let's go ahead and go to get, get the eye exam for you. So, any vision problems lately? Uh, everything has like a, a very green hue to it. Alright. And, um, could you go ahead and tell me, uh, if uh, you have any other friends that might be joining us today due to the incident, or is it just you? Uh, I think it was just me. Uh, the other, uh, the other ones, they like disappeared for some reason. I don't know. It, okay. it was, it was weird. I think they got laid off. They were temp workers, you know. I gotcha. Alrighty, sir, if you could go ahead and stand in front of the desk, please. Alrighty, so we're just gonna do a simple vision exam. Uh, could you tell me what letter this is? Uh, is that, that's, a, that's an, that's a five. All right. What about this? Uh, it's like a five to the side. Uh, could you go and tell me what this is? They're they're all just all of it is fives. They're just like they're in different directions. Well, so I'm gonna go ahead and diagnose you with uh, you know uh, twenty two hundred vision. So essentially, that just means that twenty feet looks like two hundred feet to you. Millennial vision. Alrighty, um, I'm gonna go ahead and prescribe you uh, 
to go see an optometrist along with some ketamine for any possible pain that you might have. And ketamine. I'm also going to give you some um, thyroid medication. Uh, simply just thyroid. iodine tablets. Not much to tell you. You got four days to live. Like, yeah, there's no doubt about it, bro. You, you just got four days to live. Uh, you said give it to you straight. I'm giving it to you straight. Well, not four days, right. four hours. I'm sorry, four, four hours. Four hours? What do you mean four hours? I have four hours to live. Yep. I don't know. I'm I'm feeling pretty powerful. I think I got superpowers. Well, go ahead and come back in in the next seventy two seventy two hours and uh, let us know how you, what your status is. Well, do you want me to just give you a demonstration? Um, fuck it, why not? That's not normal. <laughs> um, now the building's on fire. Oh, shit! <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen. Um, yeah, no, I was not expecting to set the whole building on fire. That was, uh, that was fun. There's not much money going into the city, so we are the fire department. Um... My oh shit! God. Coming Sam, again. what the fuck? I'm just throwing shit at you. Oh, shit! No! No! no. Get the no. fuck out of here! Before I was so rudely interrupted, um, we're we're also uh, firemen now at this point too. Doctors and firemen. Um, <laughs> I have nothing comedic to say. Alrighty, right, sir. I have this fire extinguisher just in case you set yourself on fire again. Um, or the whole building actually. Uh, I was not expecting that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, felt like a felt like a brand new felt like a brand new porn star. Anyways, um, I think it might have been the ketamine. I ain't gonna lie, that might have been what fucked you up. So we're gonna give you fentanyl right now. Um, you want it as a candy? <laughs> Alright, fuck it. We putting this motherfucker down. That's it. Nope, I'm I'm not dealing with this. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Fuck it!